right, let's work another example. All right, so 2 sine x squared plus 3 sine x equals 2. Quadratic, first of all. So we know we're going to have um, two solutions. Right, two solutions when we do quadratics. Plus, we are likely to double our solution. So just be on the lookout for four solutions. Not always, but we're just going to kind of be on the lookout for that. So the first thing I want to do is subtract 2 from each side. So I have 2 sine squared x plus 3 sine x minus 2 equals 0. So this looks just like 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. And so if you factored this, you would end up with 2x minus 1 and x plus 2. And you can factor with the box method or another method that you've learned in a previous algebra course. Um, except this is not x, this is sine. So let's just go ahead and put the sine back in. So 2 sine x minus 1 and sine x plus 2. So see what I did here? All I did is substitute instead of sine x, which made things look complicated, I just put x in. And then it looked like a familiar old algebra equation. So I've got two uh, factors multiplied together to give me 0. So I can take each factor and set it equal to 0 and solve. So add 1, so we get 2 sine x equals positive 1. I'm running out of room here. And I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So I have sine x equals 1 half, writing it in our inverse notation. x is arc sine of 1 half. And let's do this one in radians too. Where is the sine 1 half? And you know from your unit circle that it's going to be pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. So let me just put a box around those and collect those. All right, now let's take um, this part, this factor right here, and let's move that up here and set that equal to 0 to solve. So sine x plus 2 equals 0. Subtract 2 from each side sine x equals negative 2. Well, let's write that in inverse notation. And where's the sine negative 2 on the unit circle? Nowhere. So there's no solution there. So our only two solutions for this quadratic are pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. And again, when I put this up here, just kind of alerting you to it's a quad so a quad, uh, quadratic always gives us two solutions. Generally, but not always, trig equations allow us to double our solutions because there's two places on the unit circle where your sines and cosines exist generally, uh, but that's not always the case.